um, a Saturday morning, a beautiful Saturday morning, I have to say, because it's been raining in Miami literally every single day. So it's so nice to have good weather. Um, I think tomorrow is going to rain again, so I'm going to enjoy enjoy this beautiful weather um but i was also reading some comments from my um <clears throat> from my recent um instagram post and basically this was a post that i like have been wanting to do for so long and just was hesitating because honestly i'm i'm very friendly i'm very outgoing but there's times where i can be kind of like a turtle you know i'll peek my little head out but then i'll put my head back into my shell and that's literally me in a nutshell um i just one thing is sharing like a photo of you with an outfit and another thing is sharing more about yourself and like how you think and your mentality and um also showing like a vulnerable side it's not easy to do at least not for me anyways but I'm so glad that I did because honestly, I really feel like if you are going to have a handle or um, have um, or even just be a content creator, you really have to just show a little bit more of like your authentic self and who you are. And like I said, it's scary, but there's no sense in me doing what I'm doing if I don't share a little bit more about me basically if you don't follow me on my instagram what the post was about um it's just basically um how i'm a former journalist and i decided to become um, a stay-at-home mom with my children i still work freelance but basically i kind of had to let go of that career that i love so much to raise my children and this is um obviously something i don't regret and i feel very very blessed that i i have the choice because i know some people don't have a choice but it wasn't easy you know i've always missed journalism mass communications just all of it and so that's the reason why i decided to become a content creator because it kind of just gave me life again you know and so i shared that and the comments that i got on this post were just unbelievable unbelievable so many women wrote their story and some women shared that they they were in finance i have a um, a fellow YouTuber who um, gave up her finance career to be a stay-at-home mom. Now she's a content creator. Um, then I have another one that um, was working with um, children with autism. And she said she loved that job. She was so passionate about it. And she had to um, stay at home and take care of her children. So now she's back to work. And so it just, oh my God, it made me feel so good um, to read all those messages. So not only was I able to share a little bit more about me, but I got to learn so much about my followers and stuff. And that just honestly made my day. <laughs> so I just finished reading some of them because um, I did get a lot of comments on that post. It really kind of struck a nerve with people. And uh, yeah just uh, wanted to share that's what I was doing this morning and as you can see I'm having a really good I hear my my daughter crying right now she's with my husband but who knows what kind of trouble she's getting into but yeah as you can see I have a really good hair day I have to say and let me know if you're like this but when I have a good hair day it just kind of sets the tone for the rest of the day but um <clears throat> update on one of the products that i purchased on my target um i guess like self-care shopping haul which i didn't buy much but i did purchase this one which is camille rose honey hydrate and this is kind of like a leave-in conditioner and wow 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 such an amazing product i'll go ahead and link it in the description box but amazing absolutely amazing and i had a hunch it was going to be really good because i i'm the type of person that i think honey is good for you in general if you drink it if you put it on your hair your skin it's just amazing so what i did though to not like make my hair um like too um cakey or have it way down as you can see it's nice and shiny but it's it's great my curls are holding up is that um i put a little bit of this conditioner and i mix it with the conditioner that i already have which is it's it's a uh, 10 is the one that i use and i just mix the two and i put it mostly for from the middle towards the end and a little bit here but not here because obviously i don't want my hair to get dirty really quick so i avoid this section that's what i did but it's just amazing it's so good um on my hair i absolutely love this i cannot recommend it more 
and I'm just gonna put a little bit of my I already did my eyes as you can see but I'm gonna put a little bit of my merit bronzer which you know I love so much I talk about merit products non-stop at this point <laughs> but I just really like this because it's very very subtle and I'm just using my Mac um, brush I use this with absolutely everything I don't think it's available anymore but this is a really, really good one I'm gonna put a little bit I also put a little bit of my Chanel bronzer and I've been wanting to buy myself the Chanel um, cream bronzer I've been wanting to do that because I use a lot of um, this is kind of like a cream bronzer but I use it more like just in this section right here and then I use this one which is a bronzer um, from Chanel but I want to try the cream one so yeah I may decide on getting that but for today I will be sharing with you girls um, some shoes that I recently got for the spring and summer and um, yeah I figured it'd be fun to do like a little haul kind of try them on and show you um, my shoes and then um, we're also going to get ready I'm going to show you these new jeans that I got so yeah and later on I'm gonna go well after I eat breakfast because I haven't eaten breakfast I just kind of woke up came straight up here took a shower did my hair um and wait, what am I hold on let me get my highlighter <laughs> using my rare beauty highlighter I love this product but as I was saying um wait, what was I saying <laughs> Um, yeah, I haven't had breakfast, so I'm going to have breakfast, and then after that, I'm going to um, go to my husband's um, office and kind of help him out a little bit today. Sometimes I'll go and kind of help with administrative stuff, and it's good because, you know, I spend time with him, my kids get to spend time with their grandma, and yeah, it just kind of works out. I don't know if I'll take you to that, but I'm going to get ready and just show you what I'm wearing, and yeah. Of course, this is going to go on. I've been using this for years and years and years. This is my Caudalie um, Beauty Elixir. Love it. So good. My face is nice and shiny. Like I like it. I love glowy makeup. I say it all the time. All right, so I'm going to grab the jeans so I can show you what I recently got. Pick up this mess. Oh, you know what? Let me put my Dior Joy um perfume love this perfume i did like um i got ready with me for my tiktok i think i also posted it on here as a short i don't remember but um but on tiktok i spoke about how when you first apply this perfume it kind of smells like it would be like maybe for someone a little bit older but i promise you once it kind of just sinks into your skin it's so elegant so classy i love it so yeah that's the one thing with that there's perfumes like that all right, so let me show you my jeans. So I have been wanting to get um, a pair of jeans um, in white, but and I do have a couple of white jeans, but the jeans that I have are kind of tight all the way around. And I, in the last couple of months, I really have been getting into um, jeans that are like very wide leg, very, very long, almost like puddle pushers or pedal pushers everyone calls them something different but basically just really long jeans that you would have to wear like with heels at least for me because i'm not like tall or anything but i love that look because it just has a way of elongating me super flattering and chic so i cannot believe the jeans that i found in h&m because i have to say when it comes to h&m jeans um I, yeah it's a hit or miss sometimes i really don't like their jeans they're either too stiff or um, also their sizing is always off. I'm never the size that I wear everywhere else there. It's always a little bit like I feel like they run a little bit small and sometimes I really don't know which um, size to pick. But I went to the actual store the other day. I was browsing around. I actually was looking for a um, uh, like a white pleated skirt. That's what I actually needed. But I came across these jeans and I was like, I have to try these on because they... Feel a little bit more expensive they look expensive to me 
very very comfortable and when i tried these on i was like these are mine <laughs> they're so so good and like i said they're basically wide leg all the way through they're very very long i don't really um want to like hem them because i want to wear them specifically like with heels or wedges because i want that like really long long legs look you know <laughs> and um i fell in love with these basically it says 90s baggy jeans and they are that basically they really are like that and i got a us4 and um the two fit but the two fit super super tight in the tummy area because this is kind of smaller in the on the waist area and i just wanted a very comfortable fit not like where like i'm squeezing it in when when a jean fits you like that that's not your size and i'm usually a size two like in zara and other places but i noticed that in h&m their jeans do run a little bit um small so size up if you're in between sizes um but yeah absolutely love them so i'm gonna be wearing these today but i don't know i kind of feel i was gonna wear my lily silk that i wore in what's in my bag video i wore it with these like white shorts that i got from express and i love that look with a brown belt so i was gonna wear that and i'm tempted i may still but then i was thinking i think it would be really nice to wear like all white like maybe my white aritzia top my belt kind of opened up a little bit and like um, my brown heels or sandals um, with heels I'm not sure because it's a Saturday and there's not too many people at my husband's office it's kind of like a chill day obviously I would button it all the way down but to wear it like with you guys I probably button it up here and kind of leave it open I think it's just really chic so I don't know what I'm gonna wear yet but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a reel for my Instagram master <laughs> I'm multitasking that's what I try to do I try to get a bunch of content in when I do have the opportunity and I don't have the baby with me because that's what I have to do I have to just kind of juggle it all so I'm gonna do that maybe I'll show you a couple clips of that and then I'm gonna show you my entire outfit and then we're gonna do the haul so yeah let me start getting ready Okay, so I just finished and it took me forever and a day to finish and it's because I decided to film here in the den um, because the lighting here is so 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 good but obviously you hear everything the stairs are right there the kids keep coming up mommy life what can I say so yeah it took me forever but I love this outfit from head to toe this is Heidi and I just honestly I can't wait to show you um, but I think I'm gonna bring the mirror out here just because in my room it's just like I don't know it's weird I have so many windows in my room but it's always kind of foggy whenever I try to show you something in my mirror there so I'll bring it here hopefully if it won't be too loud um, and I can show you so here is the outfit and um, yeah this outfit definitely brings a smile to my face because just absolutely love these um, jeans that are very, very um, wide on the leg, as you can see. Um, just love these. I have a feeling I'm going to be wearing these a whole lot for the spring and summer. And then I'm wearing it with my Aritzia oversized, um, I think this is the Wilfred um, button down. As you can see, it's very oversized. This is an extra small and it's still pretty big, um, but nicely fitted and um of course i'm wearing my burberry belt this is my most worn belt i have so many and this seems to be the one that i keep going to just because it's really easy to wear and you're gonna hear farah in the back if you go back in time on my instagram you'll see this color combination multiple times it's a color combination that i very much love um, I think just tan or nude or brown with white looks so effortless and chic and just beautiful and being from Miami obviously I wear a lot of white because you know we have tropical weather and um, I love this this is chic it's still um, classy and I just feel really good in this and I'm wearing my nine West brown heels my pointed heels just such a beautiful outfit 
In the reel, I did wear different shoes, I have to say, and that's because um, they're one of the new ones. I cheated, um, but I took them off because this is what I'm wearing to the office, and I also just want to show you the shoes when I sit down with you. But let me grab the bag that I'm going to be wearing. Actually, it's right over there. You can see it. Let me just grab it <laughs> right here. So, yeah, I'm going to be wearing my Ralph Lauren tote. And again, if you've been following me for a while, you know I'm a huge Ralph Lauren fan. Um, yeah, just um, my favorite American brand, to be honest. I just love it. I think um, his clothing, his bags, his shoes, all of it, they're just, it's just timeless pieces and very well done. Um, I was going to wear my Holland Cooper, but I went for this one just because I'm going to the office. I can put my laptop in it and a bunch of stuff, so this is just really easy and um, just looks beautiful with this. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and link everything down below. Show you the waist on these. <laughs> so, I wanted you to see how high waisted they are and um, pretty tight on the waist. So, yeah very very um i think flattering jeans although they're very wide as you can see they're just very very flattering on the body and just one of the reasons why i love these jeans honestly these jeans to me do not feel like um affordable h&m jeans <laughs> they feel like designer jeans to me so yeah just wanted to show you how they fit on the waist so i have more coffee <laughs> and as you can see ralph lauren tumbler I love Ralph Lauren, if you haven't noticed. I love, love, love this one. I use it so much. I even spoke about it on my channel. But, um, yeah. I guess the lighting is not so bad right now. Maybe I should bring this down a little bit. Let me see. Just a tad. Alright. Let me just get a quick sip. And... All ready to do the little haul. Alright, so I'm going to start off with my favorite ones from this little shoe haul but i have to say really really quickly one thing about me when it comes to shoes is that i haven't had the best of luck when it comes to shoes it's very uncomfortable like in general with shoes i'm very very picky um i've invested in designer shoes in the past and have ended up selling all of them on ebay or giving them to like a family member um, just last year, I believe it was, I purchased um, the Hot Chicks, the Christian Louboutins. And um, I wanted so badly to be able to wear those shoes, so badly. I spent my little money on that. And in the end, it just didn't work out. It didn't work out because I just cannot be uncomfortable. I have to be comfortable. Yes, I love shoes, I love fashion, but I will not compromise comfort for anything. So I ended up selling those on eBay for like literally nothing, like 300 bucks and wore them twice and that was it. So lesson learned. Um, one of the brands that I absolutely love and I know will not only fit me right, um, the sizing is always spot on. I've never had like a sizing issue with um, this brand and they're always premium quality nicely priced and just super super comfortable and that is ralph lauren <laughs> you guessed it <laughs> oh my god he just knows what he's doing when it comes to fashion in general and when i saw these i was like okay these are the perfect spring and summer shoes and since i've been wearing my brown heels from um nine was so much like to death like that's all you see on my instagram i was like okay these are a must these beautiful brown heels sandal heels oh my gosh take a good look at them they're so beautiful very very nice kind of remind me of like ysl's and they're just so beautiful but let me tell you one thing about this i mean the craftsmanship of the shoe is what i love what i love about ralph lauren is not only that his styles are timeless and just beautiful but also his shoes in general are not heavy at all at all and that's one of the things i look for in a shoe is um are they heavy because if, if they're heavy i'm not gonna wear them i mean i'm not trying to weight lift or anything like that i don't even like weightlifting. <laughs> 
<laughs> but no honestly on a serious note i need to be comfortable and these are very very lightweight and beautiful and this is the type of heel i also wanted a heel that i could um like walk in if i go shopping or something especially for pants like this i mean i'm a shorty so and sometimes i don't want to get my pants hemmed and i just want that long look um so i'm not going to be wearing like you know stilettos to go shopping to me that just doesn't make sense especially as a mom of three even if i'm alone i still want to be comfortable but i definitely want to be stylish and you know be able to rock my jeans and stuff so i thought these are perfect because they're tall but because of this platform here they're super 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 comfortable i cannot stress that enough super comfortable so yeah just very very beautiful and this is a color that i've learned throughout the years that you can really style to death it's a neutral in my opinion because it's not like a dark brown this this brown is more like a neutral kind of like a nude that you can style a million different ways as you can see i'm wearing like here i'm wearing it with white and you can also wear these with skirts and dresses shorts i mean so many ways you can wear these shoes and so to me this, this is a shoe that um, was absolutely worth it because i know i'm going to be wearing it time and time again so yeah I'm really in love with these shoes. Oh, I can't wait to sell them on my Instagram and on here. And uh, yeah, very, very happy with these. Um, they do have them in black as well. But um, yeah, the black ones I find to be a little bit like, I guess the color makes a big difference because they're like platform. I feel like in black, it's too much. So the brown is chef's kiss. I got these beautiful um, sandaled heels as well, but these are more like of a block heel. And again, I really wanted um, some shoes that I can add to uh, my collection that I can actually wear out when I'm out and about like shopping or I wanna walk a little bit more, but I still wanna have some height. This is perfect. Um, I'm not a huge fan of block heels, to be honest, I'm not. But I think because this shoe is um, like, all open and you see a lot of like your actual foot i think they're um, still feminine but sometimes i think black heels can add like bulk and i'm not like a huge fan but these in particular i actually really like because like i said they're sandaled heels they're a little bit more casual and um you know with a nice little pedicure and your foot it kind of balances out the bulky heel so yeah the only regret i have honestly is that i didn't purchase these in a tan because they have them in like a nude or like a tan and i think it would have been a better purchase for me because you'll understand why because i got another pair of black shoes but um you can never go wrong with like nude or tan because it goes with everything so yeah i kind of regret that but these are really, really cute i like these i wouldn't say they're my favorite but i do like them and then the next ones are from nine west as well and these i love i absolutely love these because you know what i just realized <laughs> sidetracking here that i say the word absolutely a lot because i saw um when i was editing my um what's in my bag i said that word i think i don't even know how many times so yeah i think i need to stop saying that but yeah sidetrack here anyways these are the heels that i got oh my gosh i got these in macy's and these heels are so elegant so classy um classic again a heel that i would wear like even with these pants i could wear these with jeans with dresses with skirts just endless ways and i just think they're beautiful and again um, one of the reasons why i went with nine west is because i can actually wear their shoes i don't have like a super wide foot or anything my foot is kind of in between a narrow foot and a wide foot like right in the middle and i find that i could wear these nine west ones they're not super tight on here because that's the thing i've noticed especially with designer um, heels i tried on the louboutins that were similar to this not exactly the same but kind of have like a little swirly here and i just i couldn't i, I couldn't to me that's like masochism like <laughs> like i'm not a masochist i'm not trying to bleed to death i just couldn't wear them and i love the way those shoes look but these are just beautiful and comfortable i can walk in them i can go out dancing if i if i need to so yeah just very very beautiful and also affordable i think i paid i don't know if it was 80 dollars or something like that but just a beautiful shoe i can tell i'm gonna be wearing these a whole lot 
for spring and summer and i'm not sure if they have more colors i think they do i think they have maybe like a nude i'll go ahead and link everything down below maybe i'll put some other ones but love these if you saw one of my um, vlogs recently, I purchased these um, espadrilles from H&M. And I have to say that I've never purchased um, shoes from H&M before then, besides those shoes. But I've worn those black ones a couple of times and godsend. <laughs> They're so comfortable and they look super cute, especially now for the spring and summer. So of course, me being Heidi, I had to go back for a second pair in this beautiful cream. And I I cannot say enough about this shoe specifically because of how comfortable they are. I love the height because there's some height here, but they're not like too tall to where your foot would be like slanted too much and super uncomfortable. This is the perfect size in my opinion and just again comfort i'm definitely if i travel this summer which i may i'm not gonna say where and i'm not gonna say anything until it's confirmed but if i do uh, these shoes are definitely coming with me especially and also the black ones because comfortable you can wear them again jeans shorts dresses pretty much anything i love shoes that i can really kind of use a lot and style over and over again and the price on these okay 34 35 dollars like doesn't get any better than that i mean a shoe that if you take care of you'll be able to wear it over and over again so yeah those are my shoes i am very happy with what i got but moving forward i do think i may be investing in um, some manolo pumps because i've been wanting to kind of up my game in the shoe department for so so long and have failed so let me know in the comments down below if you know of any designer shoes that are comfortable and beautiful at the same time i would love to hear that because your girl needs help <laughs> but anyways i'm gonna go get myself something to eat i'm gonna pick up a mess and get myself something to eat because i'm starving i'm downstairs i'm snacking one of my worst habits is that i'm a huge snacker i say this all the time i've never been able to get rid of that habit but mainly it's because i wake up and i get so many things done i'm just trying to get a lot of things done throughout the day and yeah and i'm not eating so i think i'm gonna do some eggs because they're quick and filling so yeah i'm gonna put this away before i continue with my almonds So I have some pre-cut peppers. I love, love, love peppers. And I like to have them pre-cut so I can just, you know, like when I'm in a hurry because I need to get to the office. Um, I can just cook these up really quick with an egg and I'm good to go. Alright, so here are my eggs with peppers and I have a little bit of cantaloupe because I had some um a little bit left my kids love to eat that and it's really good for you and i have my everything seasoning which honestly i put on <laughs> everything yeah so i'm gonna go eat this and i think i'm going to edit my reel so that i can post that and then um my mom should get here um my mom or my dad i'm not sure which one's coming i think i think my dad's gonna come today because i think my mom has something to do and once he gets here i'm going to leave i left my camera at home so i'm vlogging with my phone for this portion but it's so 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 hot for someone like me that likes to like actually like dress up um uh, it's really hard because honestly i feel like in miami people show a lot of skin just because it's really really hot but i'm just not that type of a person um i like to wear like actual outfits and like you know dress up a little bit just it's just my personality it just brings my mood up um automatically and i don't know if it's because i grew up in new york my style is um not always fitting for miami weather because it's really hot the good thing is we go from one spot to the next like we're always in air conditioning um unless we're at the beach or something but usually we just go from one place to the next and there's air conditioning so that's the good thing but anyways yeah my hair looks weird because i had it on a ponytail
I'm home and I am super, super tired. I'm not gonna lie. It's been a long day, um, but um, I'm very happy because it's been a productive day. I got to vlog, chit chat a little with you and also went to work. And I'm definitely going to end the vlog here because I'm very, very tired. I'm going to get in the shower because again, it was such a hot day today. That's all I wanna do is take a nice little shower. And then I'm gonna go spend time with the kiddos and then it's gonna be a Netflix night because that's all I wanna do. I just wanna plop myself in my bed and watch Netflix all night. That's all I wanna do. But if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see everyone next time. Bye.